Hi, if you don't know us already, we're Helen and Andy in our self-built camper van, Giovanna. We transformed her from an empty panel van into our tiny home of wheels, but now we're making changes. Come along as we rip out the old and rebuild her into a luxury camper van ready for our next adventure. So in this week's video, we're going to be prepping the countertop for the induction hob and our undermount sink, fitting all the drawers and mounting all the doors and drawer fronts and a little bit of prep work around the van. So stay with us and uh, hope you enjoy the video. I'm not the greatest of carpenters, but I've decided that this week is where I'm going to tackle the rail on our pull-out larder and the joints. Now these are really small pieces of wood, so you can't really screw them or nail them because they'll just split. So what I've decided to do is drill a hole through the rail and the frame where it fits to and count some the head slightly so I can push a nail through or glue a nail in um, to cover both um, pieces of wood. It creates a really strong joint and it's a lot simpler for someone that can't cut wood using chisels and fine saws and make these amazing joints. I, I just can't do that. So this is how I do it. double-sided tape on the back, like this. When you come to fit them, you can stick them to the side of the cabinets and uh, it's a lot easier to keep it in place just in time or just enough for you to be able to screw in your fixings. This one here is the full height pull-out larder. This is an extra drawer unit just going in behind a cupboard door. And these ones will all have drawer fronts on them. to run the router bit on the router around the edge to get a nice straight edge and it's worthwhile spending a little time to do this it may look a little bit rough and ready but it's much better doing this than have to continuously adjust or get things wrong so today's job was to use the router to cut out the insert for where the sink's going to go because it's going to be under mounted on a nice clean edge and then the off cut that's in the middle will be sanded, a small hole drilled in the middle so you can take it in and out of the sink so you still keep a nice expansive worktop. But ah, the damn route a bit broke and I'm miles away from the shop to get a replacement. Don't buy cheap, but you buy twice. That's my tip for today. inside the van again today and I'm going to be routing out the hole for the under sunk sink to go in and also for our induction hole. Um, got a new bit, 
this time it's a heavy duty bit. Let's get down to uh, routing out this workshop. <laughs> the under, under mount sink and the edges have been rounded over to give a nice soft edge rather than a harsh edge which over time would wear anyway. Um, I'm just going to use good quality oils on this worktop and the sink before mounting to the underside of the unit will have a good quality clear sealant all the way around to protect the underside of the countertop as well. It was quite a bit of work doing it with the router and sand it all smooth but I think you'll agree the finish makes it all worthwhile. And here's the countertop with our two burner induction hob installed. 